Greetings my fellow Fright Fiends, it's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone and today's video is a review, a review that I was asked to do by the director. Uh, the director's name is Matt Frame and the name of this movie is Camp Death 3 in 2D. It's being billed as a crude, corny, 80s horror parody, uh, specifically of Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. And like I said, Matt reached out to me um, through uh, YouTube on uh, one of my videos and asked if I would like to watch the movie. Um, he initially asked me to check out the trailer and then he sent me a screener of the movie and I've watched it a couple times. Matt, thank you so much for reaching out to me. It's an honor to review your film. Just to give a names of some of the cast, you have uh, Dave Piniuk, uh, Angela Galanopoulos, uh, Darren Andrichik, Emma Docker, and Chris Allen. And pretty much what it deals with, it deals with this character, it's it's a play on Jason and Mrs. Voorhees, and it's called Camp Crystal Meth in this movie. And the camp has been turned into almost like this rehabilitation center for adults. And Todd, uh, him and his uncle, uh, they pretty much are the ones that run it. Camp Death 3 in 2D was a lot of fun. It's, um, it's like a cartoon. It's really like a live action cartoon. I mean, just the way that the film is directed and edited, everybody is moving in kind of animated way. Um, everything is over the top and loud. A lot of characters just yell all the time uh, specifically the uncle uh, uncle Mel who is one of the funniest people in the movie I don't know why it's just his his mannerisms his his delivery uh, the way that he really attacks his poor nephew Todd Dave, played by uh, Dave Peniak uh, just their 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 back and forth was really kind of what hooked me into the story but then you also have this crazy killer who is called Johan Van Dam and uh, he looks like Jason, but he has a mask that looks like Michael Myers. Um, but he kills people strange. in strange ways. One of them that's most memorable is like this toaster. He has this toaster that has endless toast just flying out of it and hitting this poor girl. And Or there's like a scene that's reminiscent of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Johan Van Damme is on a speeder um, with a lightsaber chasing these two campers. It's a lot of fun to watch. and really silly and over the top and, and laughing so hard at some of the stuff in it. There's some stuff that's just really, really funny. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever really seen. And I'm not one that usually goes for parody movies. Um, I I tend to like, there's like a handful that I like that I've grown up with like Airplane or Naked Gun um, or the Austin Power films, but that's about it. I never really have been into like a lot of them because I just feel like they just get so silly and, and goofy, but there was a lot of heart in this one. And this one was, you know, it was a $35,000 movie. Um, you can tell that everybody that's involved in it really cared about the product and they just wanted to do something fun and, and have a good time. And I just had a good time watching it. I'm a huge Friday the 13th fan. I mean, that, that's my, it's my world. I absolutely love it. And there was some scenes in this film that just paid terrific homage to uh, those early Friday the 13th films. So I had a lot of fun with this and I think the cast did a great job. You got to go into it with just an open mind and, and wanting to have fun and not taking it seriously. It's, it's completely silly over the top cartoon type humor. If I had to give this one a rating on my scale, I would give Camp Death 3 in 2D four and a half skulls. I had a lot of fun with Camp Death 3 in 2D, and um, if anybody gets a chance to watch this film, I definitely think if you really like over-the-top comedy, you're gonna get a kick out of it. If you like Friday the 13th films, I think you'll get an even bigger kick out of it. So I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to watch this review. Um, I hope everyone is doing well, and I will have some new content coming out really, really soon. So take it easy, stay scared as always. I have a Patreon page. If everybody wants to help support me, the link is down below. And if you do help support me, Dracula here will get more treats. And Dracula really loves his treats. So any support that you can give me would be very, very much appreciated. Right, Drac? <laughs>